Last night, shortly after 10.40 p.m., officers from the Homicide Squad attended on Dad's Danzig Avenue, sorry, Danzig Street and Morningside Avenue, and uh, commenced an investigation into the shooting of more than 20 citizens who had been attending a gathering in the uh, Danzig Street complex. Two people have died from injuries sustained, a 14-year-old female, and her name is Cheyenne Charles of Toronto, and a 23-year-old male named Joshua Yase of Ajax. Their next of kin have been notified. The crime scene is currently being examined by the Homicide Squad, members of the Forensic Identification Services and Traffic Services. A complete canvas of the area by uniformed officers from across the city is currently underway. Witnesses are being interviewed and video surveillance is being gathered throughout the area. My understanding from the investigation is that upwards of 100 people had been attending this outdoor party that preceded the shooting. Officers who attended the scene last night observed a chaotic one, with people fleeing on foot and in motor vehicles. This is completely understandable due to the nature of the event and the circumstances. However, there's no doubt in my mind that there were persons in attendance at this function who know the identity of those responsible for the murders and woundings of these citizens. It is to these people who attended the party that I am now appealing. With regard to the young age of the innocent victims who lost their lives and the sheer number of wounded individuals, those who are witnesses or who have information can make their family, friends and neighborhoods safer by speaking with investigators from the Homicide Squad. There's no doubt that people at this function were also taking photographs on smartphones, uh, recording video on their phones throughout the evening. The Homicide Squad has a dedicated web page for this double homicide and woundings where anyone with videos or photographs can upload them. The Homicide Squad encourages these people to also provide their personal details but they're not mandatory. Any witness who wants to speak with me can contact me directly at 416-808-7405, the Homicide Squad at 416-808-7400, 43 Division, Crime Stoppers at 222-TIPS, or click the post a tip on the TPS Facebook page. The only thing that I will add uh, in addition to um, what was stated by the chief this morning. We do have two additional persons who have come forward and uh, been identified as people also injured, um, having been shot last night. Injuries are being treated at uh, hospitals in the community. So how many victims do we have total at this point, injured and deceased? We have the two deceased, 23 who have been shot, and one wounded, not, not through a shooting. Yes. Were the two victims that were killed, were they from the area? Were they from the same area? Um, one is from Ajax, and one in the vicinity, but not in the uh, exact area. Are the two deceased part of 23 shot, or is that 25 deaths? Sorry, can you repeat that? The two deceased part of the 23 shot, or is that 25 deaths? No, 23 shot, two are deceased, and the one wounded in the trampling. So 25 people shot total? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, any indication of number of shooters at this point? Uh, that's something that we're still investigating. Um, there has been some witnesses who have come forward and everything that they say is being investigated and uh, I will think I'll have a better idea in the coming days. We also have forensic evidence, which is going to help point us in the right direction with regard to the number of shooters, I hope. There was some report that there was a, a young man in custody. Are you getting any cooperation from that person? There isn't a young man in custody. There is a person of interest, and that person is still being treated as a person of interest. And if there's any change in the status, you'll be notified. And that person was injured, right? They were injured. I'm not going to comment on, on that. Any other questions? Do you know whether or not either of the shooters were shot in the Sorry, I, I, Do you have any indication as to whether one of the shooters may have been shot in the Again, that's part of the investigation that I won't be commenting on at this time. 
Do we have the correct spelling of the doctor's last name? Sorry. Of the old victims? Yes. His last name? Surname is spelled Y-A-S-A-Y. The chief this morning mentioned gang involvement, Graham. Can you speak to that at all? Well, in any case like this, that's certainly something that we're going to look into and investigate. Any kind of gang affiliation will be, will be looked into and addressed appropriately. I'm not going to mention any gang names at this time. It's a very uh, young investigation, and there's a lot of work that still needs to be done with regard to that. Some people out there are saying that uh, this party that's being held is an annual event, and that there's been violence there in the past. Do you know anything about that? Again, uh, that's an event that is unknown to me, and it's something that I'll, look, I'll be looking into in the course of this investigation. How old is the person of interest? I'm not going to comment on that person's age. Yeah? I'm not going to comment on that. Sorry, has the people who are injured have been cooperative? Yes, generally, yes. As much as they can be in the circumstances. Are you able to tell us how quickly police were at the scene after when the call came in that there was an incident occurring because some people at the scene have been complaining about folks fox swords? I can't comment on that. I'm from the homicide squad, so once I'm notified, I get there as quickly as I can. Um, Everything that I saw from 43 Division was well handled and the scene was well in order by the time I got there. Do you know if the homeowners were injured? Uh, um, it's not my understanding that a homeowner was injured, but that's something that's still part of the investigation. Do you know the condition of the toddler that was shot? Uh, my understanding is that the toddler is doing much better. Is it correct that the uh, young girl who was uh, killed actually lived next door to us? That the young person who was... was I'm not going to comment on, on where they were living at the time. Okay, thank you very much. This information will be on our uh, website shortly. Thank you.